In this video, I'm going to show you how to reference jQuery, how to avoid conflicts with other libraries, as well as syntax. Uh, so first things first here, I'm going to paste in uh, some HTML uh, into my body tag. And you'll see that what I have here is a button as well as a div. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by referencing jQuery by using the dollar symbol and followed by open bracket document dot ready and I'm going to pass this in an anonymous function I'm just going to add a semicolon there to close that um, so essentially what we've done here is we've referenced jQuery using the dollar symbol but what this can sometimes do is create a conflict with another library that uses the dollar symbol as an alias so to avoid doing that we can declare our own alias. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that by typing var. And you can name the alias essentially anything you want. But in this case, I'm going to call it $q equals jQuery no conflict. And now I'm just going to update the reference to the old jQuery alias using $q like I just declared. Uh, so that's essentially it for avoiding conflicts. So you can see I've changed the dollar symbol to dollar symbol Q, which may be less susceptible to conflicting with another framework. Uh, so next, what I'm going to show you is chaining. So like I said earlier, you have a button and a div tag in on the HTML page. So I'm going to reference the button click me button and I'm going to register an on click event handler to it so that when I click on that button I will ultimately modify the CSS attributes of my div in a chaining type fashion uh, so now that I've registered the event handler I can go ahead and reference my div in the same way open quotes my div dot and I'm going to modify CSS so dot CSS open bracket close bracket and I'm going to modify the width property of this div and I'm going to chain onto that another call to CSS and modify the height of that div all right so if all goes well if I open this in my browser now by right clicking on index.html open in browser and then selecting Chrome here. And if I click on this button, there you have it. So today you've basically learned how to reference jQuery, avoid conflicts, and how to do function chaining.